Hello fellows and welcome to the first episode of Tigers RC in Cube World. Today we're gonna start our new character and new world. So let's get this thing started. I'm going to make my character now. I don't know about you, but I really like the look of the dwarf. Or maybe the lizard. There's so many choices. This game is great. Um, yeah, I think I'm going to go with dwarf. Probably a guy. Um, do we want him to be ranged? Or melee? I think melee would be good. Oh man, that guy's got a gap in his teeth. <laughs> that guy's got a unibrow and a hole in his teeth. Nice. Alright, three haircuts. I like scraggly. Do we want red hair? Or orange hair? That's kind of dwarf-like right there. Maybe a little bit darker. Very dwarf-like. What do you think? That's about all the options that we've got, but now we get to name him. Tigron. Post down in the comments what you think of him. I think he looks great. Really like the unibrow. All right, here we go. Now we're gonna make a world. And let's name it Tigers RC. You guys ready? Because I am. Here we go. Alrighty. It's been a while since I've played this game, so we'll start things off by getting some ginseng. Ginseng is good. I think we can make food from that. Alrighty. Um, inventory. I think we should go with two weapons. Two weapons, great sword, or sword and shield. Post down in the comments what you think. I'm probably thinking two weapons would be good, but I think the great mace is a cool thing too. What about skill trees? Do we want to go guardian or berserker? Berserkers jump. Guardians. See, berserkers, when they go into war frenzy, charge their special attacks much faster. But guardians become basically invincible. I think for now, let's try Guardian. Also, we start off with a ton of health. That's always a good thing. All right. So here we are. This is Cube World. Um, and we're going to want to start things off by finding the nearest town. Looks like it's northeast. Alright, here we go. Ooh, bunnies. Let's kill the bunnies. Alright, whenever I do a basic attack, it charges the thing down at the bottom. And if I dodge. It will negate all damage. All right, here we go. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. Drink a potion. When I do this, it blocks the next hit. So when that blue bar down at the bottom is full, I can hold down right click 
and do a special attack. Ooh, this guy looks dangerous. Two experience, yes. My experience bar is up in the top left, and hopefully by the end of this episode we'll have that filled up to level two. Hey, bracelet. That's good. All right. See the name tag there? There's two horses. If I attack one of them, both of them will attack me, so that's not good. But the the name tag tells you that the horse is dangerous. It's it's a higher level than I am because it's orange. If it was blue, then it would be about the same level. If it's white, then I can kill it really easily because it's a lower level, much lower level. But if it's red, I probably shouldn't attack it because it's dangerous. The health bar, because it's green, tells me that these guys are passive until I attack them. So when I attack these guys, they're gonna attack me back. The, um, if, if that health bar is blue, then I can't attack them straight up. They aren't gonna attack me. It's, it's fine. Um, if it's red, then they'll attack me no matter what. So I think we can take these two. I may have been wrong. Yes! We just got some, some food for some pets. Let's check that out. It's pumpkin mash. I'm gonna... I don't know what that'll tame. Maybe it's a sheep. I think there's a sheep over here. Is this a sheep? It's a sheep! Sheep? Sheep? No? Alright. Here we go. On our way. To... Through the lands of Gegar to the village place over here. Hopefully we'll find some caves in these mountains. That would be fun. But we've got to heal up first and sell the stuff that we just got. Let me go to sleep. I want to sleep in the bed. Come on. There. All right. When you sleep, time passes much faster and you gain a lot of health. All right. Here we go. Back up to full. That's a terrier. Maybe... That's not what I wanted to do. I want to put it here. No? No terrier? Cat? Nope. No cat. Maybe a pig. Pig! We are gonna have a pet pig! Great! We've got a pet pig, guys! We have got a pet pig. Tell me what you think we should name him. I'm sure you can do that. He's our pig, though, so... Porky? Bacon? That would be kind of a bad name if we named him Bacon. But, yeah. We have a pig. Alright, it looks like the inn's... The shop is over there. So that's where I'm heading. I love the way that the map is done with this. It's just so awesome. Is this the shop? I think this is the shop. Let's talk to this guy. You love sailing? Well, I love sailing too. All right. Okay, now we have some copper. There it is, 52 copper. 
What can we buy? Obviously, we can't get a hang glider or a boat just yet. We can get cotton candy, but I don't think we need that right now. We've got a pet pig. We don't need a pet collie or... Oh, no, that would be a sheep, wouldn't it? We don't need that. Let's get a few glass flasks so that we can um, make some more health potions. And let's check out what the armory has in the way of... Oh, what have you got? Dagger. Can't use it. There's a great mace, but that's for level power 5, probably level 2. Pity. All right, let's keep on going. Just a quick note, this person wants to talk to me. So, <laughs> Ruins of Gagar. Let's check and see if that's on the map. Hey, hey, it's blue. Oh, perfect. Alrighty, we've got the Ruins of Gagar right over there on our map. If we go there, and on the way we get to level 3, then we might be able to go through a dungeon. But I think that, that will have to wait for now. Seeing as I've got to wrap this episode up. Thank you fellows so much for watching. It's been a ton of fun to play. And don't forget to tune in next week when we make it to that dungeon. Post down in the comments if you enjoyed watching. And tell me what you think of Tigron the Dwarf. And what do you think we should name our piggy? Thank you so much for watching, and until next time, so long.